excuse me, I'm running on very little sleep. Ah, right, okay. Um, why am I so knackered? Uh, a friend of mine, as you know, or some of you know, I used to work in security doors, that sort of shit. And I recent last year, I went back to help a mate at my house who had a business as an area manager because it was in the shit and he needed it turning around. I since left. Anyway, um, my wife works as a response medic at events uh, and does a little bit of security work for that company still. And she started working in a local restaurant wedding function venue, um, retirement door really. And to avoid her having to work with dickheads, I did a couple of shifts with her, got to know the owners. And so we agreed that we would give them this year to help get the thing off the ground when it comes to the weddings and everything with a side of security. Plus, it's um, an issue regarding licensing. Anyway, um, work last night. Uh, well, work Saturday night. And fairly peaceful, fairly normal. Bit of a late finish for me. Because we didn't finish till about half twelve. I know it's not late, but it's late for me, I'm old. Anyway, on the way home, um, went to those back roads to where we live, and obviously we live quite rural. We came across a lamb that had somehow got over the wall and was running around in the street. So here we are at one o'clock in the morning, chasing this lamb up and down the bloody road. Um, I had to end up knocking somebody up locally to get the farmer's number and eventually about half past one in the morning we caught this bloody thing. Um, and then I had to work again last night, supposed to be an early finish uh, and it was Dickhead Central last night. Uh, came very close to um, knocking the groom out and dragging him out the fucking venue by his head. Anyway, it calmed down but uh, again it ended up being a quite a late finish. Uh, wasn't leaving the two girls that were the event coordinators on their own with so many coked up knobheads in the venue. Um, so when I got up this morning after having four hours sleep to go to the gym, I was a bit of a mess. Um, regarding training, not much to report really. I think I managed once last week. This knee's still giving me a lot of shit, but I now have... PC157. Now you can't see the make, but it, it's uh, from Peptides UK. So that's starting today. Uh, 300 micrograms twice a day. The other thing, as well, is um, done some research. It apparently can be very good for kidney problems. Uh, and um, a colleague of Andy Bolton's in the States have been running this stuff and he's doubled his kidney function. From 16% to 33. Uh, he's also been taking a, a peptide called Peel Attacks or Pile Attacks, something like that, um, which I haven't yet got. But so that's going to be next on the list of supplements. Training wise, surprisingly strong this morning for me. I'm bearing in mind I'm weak as fuck at the moment. Uh, hopefully, should get a solid week in this week and start to try and push a bit more weight and train a bit harder. Diet wise, cleaned it up, it went off track with work, um, cleaned it back up, actually increased what I'm eating, so I'm eating more, um, and um, so far so good. Living off caffeine. Um, now, I said I'd do an update on uh, the CBD. And I'll be honest, I haven't had chance to finish off researching. One research I have done has um, found very little negatives uh, from a supplementation type point of view. Some negatives with cancer treatments and stuff, but particularly from a supplementation point of view, uh, CBD doesn't seem to have any downsides, which immediately makes me suspicious. Now, I tried it. Uh, it wasn't the strongest. I think I got... 10 or 15 uh, percent full spectrum CBD and what I found was first night I took it both me and the wife took it we woke up that in the morning and we were like bears with sore heads 
Now, we rarely argue, we rarely fall out of each other, and we literally avoided each other all day because we were just spoiling for a fight. She didn't take it again, but I took it the next night, and I had a great night's sleep. But that's dissipated quite quickly, uh, and what I've found now is I'm not really seeing any benefit from it whatsoever. No impact on any pain, but then I've not really got high levels of pain. Just got this twinge in my knee that's only hurting when I squat. Um, so I didn't get much from it. Now, granted, though it was a good quality one, it wasn't a particularly strong one, but I was taking a decent whack of this stuff. So it wasn't just a couple of drops under the tongue. I was putting a fair bit in. Um, I need to do more research. I genuinely, generally do. Um, it is the in craze at the moment. And on the surface of it, it looks very, very beneficial. My concerns are that for years I've been jumping up and down about the mental impact of steroid use. In fact, I might even do a video this week on, on mental health. Um, and... and Online, everybody's like, oh, yeah, whatever, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And then all of a sudden CBD comes out and everybody's jumping on CBD and going, oh, it's really helping with my paranoia, it's really helping with my anxiety. But hang on a minute. For the last two years, you've been going on about how you haven't had any issues. Uh, and so, you know, as usual, bullshit, lies and fucking crap. It, it's The concern I have is this. Um... If you're having anxiety problems from your drug use and then you then take another drug, be it a natural product like CBD, to cover that, then is that going to have a net impact on you increasing or not managing or, or, or getting a little bit flippant with the drug use that was causing the severe anxiety problems in the first place? And what I don't know is does CBD work as a protective agent in that it stops the impact of the drugs on neurochems, which I don't think it does. I think it's more that it overrides the symptoms, which would mean effectively what you're doing is you're taking painkillers and training on an injury. And we all know that's not always the wisest thing to do. So, I have reserved judgment. I know a lot of people are getting on with it really, really well, uh, and it's showing a lot of benefits and improved sleep and such like. Um, but I just have reservations. And I think in that sense, you know, you're probably not going to go far wrong. But I have reservations about it being used to cover up anxiety issues from steroid use. And I'm a little concerned that it might just be a band-aid uh, and isn't actually preventing the damage that's being done. And as a result, we could see long-term issues with anxiety, possibly even psychosis, um, that are very present unless CBD treatment continues. So there's, there's my concerns. And also... I'm not the oldest or wisest man on this planet, far from it. But I feel I've lived quite a life. And at now I'm 47 years old, I have tend to learn that there's nothing that's 100% good. And everything has a downside. Uh, I suppose you can call it that yin or yang. Um, so... I can't help thinking that we've yet to find the downside. Now, again, I think this won't be particularly relevant to those running 10, 15% and a few drops a night. But those that are banging the 40% stuff in, there may be an issue further down the line. I don't know. It's not that I've got any evidence to support that. And to be honest, I haven't found enough evidence yet to formulate an opinion. It's just my gut tells me that whenever I found something that's really good, there's always been a negative to it. Uh, there is no good without paying a price in the way of saying, well, there's no bad without paying a price. You know, gear, it's great, but there are downsides. Yeah, and that's the same with everything. Ice cream's fucking wonderful. Best thing on the planet as far as I'm concerned. But it has a downside, you know? It makes you fat. Well, it does if you eat as much as I do. 
Um, so, like I say, I'm just I'd advise caution. Um, but on the surface, it seems really, really good. Uh, there's definitely no, as we're aware at this point, no addictive qualities. But they said that about steroids as well. Um, and it does seem to be particularly positive. Um, so, you know, crack on as far as I'm concerned at the moment. But if you're starting to use very high doses, like with anything, I'd start to ask questions. Um, I will, I promise. Uh, the problem I've got at the moment is I've got a court report to finish this week and readjust. Um, and just to give you an idea, that nice thick fat envelope is the court papers I've got to work through. Uh, my printer's blown up, so I've got to go get another printer today. Luckily, uh, my training partner's got a re fancy laser one he's letting me have. Um, and then I've got to build a presentation for the 26th, because I'm presenting at an international conference in Colchester. So time to look at research at the moment is thin on the ground. You'll probably hear the doofus twins snoring their heads off in the background. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, otherwise, apart from being knackered today, all is good. All is well. Um, old body power turned around and went... It'll send the wrong signals. I don't know if I told you this. I can't remember. Unless my memory's fucked. Uh, so, body power have turned around and said, fuck off. Which is unfortunate, but there you go. So I will be there on the Medicheck stand, and I will also be there on the Strom Nutrition stand, which is part of the Explosive Ape stand. Um, so just look for the fat, bald, ginger bloke that looks like a washed-up has-been, and you'll find me. Uh, that really is it, guys. i got fuck all going on. Um... I'm going to do, like I say, I'm going to do something on mental health. Um, it, it's it's an interesting topic, and, and I think a lot associate too many negatives with it, which is not necessarily the case. Uh, just because you have what would be deemed a mental health disorder or, or, or imbalance or, or however you want to be PC about it, it doesn't mean you're fucking bonkers. It doesn't mean you're not, doesn't mean you're a bad person, and it doesn't particularly mean you've got a problem. The problem occurs when you fail to recognise it and therefore fail to manage it. Uh, but I'll say I'll do a video and get into that later. Um, all right, so take care and I'll get this shit posted up. <laughs>